Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no, oh no, no, no. What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. This one is on probably one of the harder bosses in the game and it's and it's not even a traditional boss. It's kind of hard to explain until we get there. But once we get there, the boss's name is called the Reanimator. And it's pretty tough and I'll explain once we get there. But to get there, we have to pass through this area called uh, Ahane's Lament. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. And this obviously just leads to the Radiant Tomb, which is where the boss is. So... First things first, let's go ahead and clear this dungeon, and then once we get to the Radiant Tomb, I'll explain a little bit more about the boss. So with that being said, let's get going. So quick disclaimer, I've already beat this boss, so I'm going to have to basically explain to you what the reward is for beating the boss once we actually complete it. Uh, I'll explain to you exactly what you get from this boss. First things first, let's go ahead and do some, some looting. This boss, I do gotta say, is pretty tough, man. Uh, it's probably one of the harder bosses to beat in the game, in my opinion. And the reason for that is just, it's not traditional. It's not a traditional boss. You're gonna have to see it to very... To understand exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I missed quite a few of those. Here you go. You guys can have that. Whoa. I almost walked right into that one. There's a lot of junk here. Which is a good thing. Not that I really need it anymore. Uh, this character already has every weapon, every armor, every trait, everything. I'm literally just working to get my skill points up. So that I can actually max out the traits. Because right now, I'm a little over half, I think. But, oh, I'll show you right now once I kill this dude. So, I'm trait rake. That, but I got all of it. If you don't believe me, you can literally just look it up. But I got all the traits. Including some of the harder ones to find. Oh, I'm going to have such a hard time with this boss because I have no points in Vigor. So, yeah, you're probably going to need... <laughs> I'm, you're, I'm probably going to have to edit this down, like, significantly. It's fine, though. Let's go... Oh look, he's so nice. He offered himself to die for me. Alright, nothing else up here. Let's go ahead and go. Oh look, we're already at the end of the dungeon. So basically, uh, this leads to the Radiant Tomb. Alright, so let's go ahead and rest really quick. Because I foresee myself having a hard time with this boss. Alright, so we are in the Radiant Tomb. This is where the reanimator... I guess you could say resides or whatever. Essentially what the reanimator is, is this tower with a like a glowing orb on the top or whatever. And the goal is to destroy three of them. Now the problem with that is, while you're doing that, it's reanimating the dead all the way around. And it's like wave after wave. There's it's a never ending wave. So you have to essentially fight off the wave and simultaneously take out the, the orbs at the same time. Now there is a tip that I actually learned by doing this quite a few times is you want to wither each all three of them down to just a fraction of their health and then uh, once you get all three of them then go back and one by one destroy them because as you destroy one for every single one that you destroy the uh, enemy scaling gets tougher and tougher and tougher so yeah, by the time you get to the last one you're getting nothing but like elite bad guys and stuff like that or whatever so it, it gets tougher and tougher as it goes on you would think it would get easier since there's less orbs reanimating but no it actually gets tougher so i'll try to demonstrate that here in this video but it's going to be pretty tough seeing as i have no points in vigor or in 
uh, stamina, which I'll show you. Endurance, I, uh, or spirit, or teamwork, or anything. I have all of my stuff on elder knowledge and pretty much everything on the bottom half. I'm just literally working my way up. So, we're probably going to have a hard time with this boss, and it's fine. I'm not even worried about it. I'll just edit it down and show you the finished product. So, let's go. You see, they're coming out of the walls. The thing we have to do is destroy these things. All right, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Oh, God. No. All right. Alright, cool. Alright, I'm gonna leave it like that because it's gonna be pretty easy to beat at that point. Alright, let's go ahead and drink one of these. Ah! Alright, let's go. Come on. Ah. Uh, it kind of looks like we're gonna be able to take care of it first try, though. Oh god, I missed. Alright, let's go. So that's two. Let's go ahead and take one of these for when they hit me. And then we'll... This one we're actually going to destroy. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Let's go ahead and shoot another one of these. Alright. It's game time. Alright, let's go ahead and heal. Alright, that's one. Let's just go straight to the other two and destroy them. Literally, it's, it's down. Oh god, that was that was stupid of me. Go. All right, this is the last one, and it's gonna be cake. There we go. So we managed to do it on the first try, so there's that. So by doing this mission, you actually get rewarded with uh, this amulet right here. It's called the Soul Anchor. It is the amulet for summoners. It's actually what I use on my main character. I freaking love this, uh, this amulet. It's probably the best thing you can do for, uh, for a, uh, a summoner build. It's also one of the hardest ones to get because the reanimator is pretty freaking tough, man. But uh, with that being said, have you gotten the soul anchor? Have you beaten the um, the reanimator? If so, what was your thoughts about it? Like, did you guys have a hard time with it like I usually do? I mean, it didn't really look like it was that tough, but that's because I already know how to defeat it uh, after like <laughs> trying to beat this like multiple, multiple times. But uh, overall... It's, uh, it's pretty tough, but it's very rewarding at the end, especially if you're a summoner. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces. Deuces.